morning to all of you sing chainy faces guys i feel so good i woke up at 7 45 this morning which was a whole half an hour before my alarm clock even goes off which is amazing um it was actually funny though because my mom couldn't find her keys my brother was trying to take the dogs outside and it was like mass chaos in the house and so i think that's what woke me up and then i was like you know what I'm not going to go fall asleep again because I think that's my problem. I'm just like, oh, it's too early. My alarm clock hasn't gone off because I'll wake up before my alarm clock, like when everybody's all busy in the house in the morning and I'll wake up before my alarm clock and then I'm like, oh, I still have a half an hour before my alarm clock goes off. So I'll fall asleep again and then I'll be like in a really deep sleep and I'll like turn it off subconsciously and then I sleep right through it or something and I end up not waking up until like 10 o'clock or something like that. But it's 1030 right now and I already got a shower. I did my hair well actually I just blow dried it and put some uh, products in it and I am going to work on the vlog I already had breakfast I already got dishes in the sink all cleaned up and I think that's kind of it that I've done so far for today but I'm gonna work on the vlog real quick I was actually just catching up on some YouTube videos um, while I was having my breakfast and now I am actually feeling really really good too because I feel like good enough that I can clean my room and everything like that which was my goal for Monday and then um, I didn't really get to that but I am hoping to at least my goal for today is all of the papers I'm going to take care of which is a kind of not a big task but um, that's my goal for today and then also I want to take care of all of my laundry because I have a basket of laundry I have to get put away and plus now that my grandma actually got me those new clothes um, I'm gonna run those through the wash as well and I probably have maybe like a half a load of laundry plus the stuff she just gave me will probably be a full load of laundry to be able to do so that is my goal for today and I'm gonna say probably half of all of my floor cleaned up and my laundry which is a good portion of the stuff that's on my floor anyway so um that is my goal and then i have to get yesterday's vlog edited and uploaded and um i'm gonna finish my coffee though real quick but guys i just i feel so good when i like wake up early and that was seriously it i went to bed at like maybe 11 30 or maybe 11 45 ish i probably fell asleep by midnight and i was up at 7 45 this morning which is awesome but I think what happens is when I wake up and if I wake up like before my alarm clock goes off I just end up turning it off so this morning I was like you know what I'm not gonna fall asleep I'm gonna watch a YouTube video and so I watched a few YouTube videos until my alarm clock went off and then I was up before my alarm clock anyway so then I already felt like kind of awake more and was able to just get up and hop in the shower and everything so it is only about 10 30 right now I'm gonna go finish my coffee finish one YouTube video and then edit and upload um, for today and then start cleaning my room so it's about one o'clock now I was actually planning on taking my lunch break at um, noon today. I just got so in the zone of cleaning everything up that I was like didn't even notice it was noon and I wasn't super hungry too because I kind of had a little bit of a late lunch so um, it's one o'clock now. I am going to have the lentil soup um, from the one I actually really liked from Aldi and I am probably about 65 to 70 percent done with cleaning the floor in my room which is amazing and I gotta get a pot down so I can cook this. When you're like so in the zone and cleaning, I guess you don't even notice like what time it is. So I finished, like I said, 60 to 65, like 70% of my floor. I'm gonna take a break and eat right now. If you guys can't tell, I'm totally out of breath because I'm hauling stuff all over the place. I actually condensed the majority of the things that were on my floor all down into just a few boxes. This box I still kind of got to go through. It's like loose papers and stuff. Um, this one has got all of my receipts from couponing in here which I upgraded to a bigger box. Um, and then this has got like computer stuff in here and this has got all of my DVDs and like video games and stuff like that in here. Um, so I also condensed this stuff down a little bit too because it was in like three boxes and now it's in a bigger ish box and then this one. Um, and then like I said this too. This all this stuff actually in total was probably in like five boxes and now it's all down to three and then this will probably just go in some of my other stuff because I have like a whole box of like letters because I keep like almost all of my letters that people write me and um, 
that's some of that stuff is in here there's just some like random mail and stuff like that in here and like magazines so I have to go through that and do a little bit more on my floor but I'm really really close to being done so I'm just gonna take a break real quick get some food in me so I can keep going and keep being fired up I also think the coffee really helps I'm gonna real quick take a break and watch a YouTube video and eat I told you guys I wasn't gonna have any candy right well my mom went and bought Pez right so that she could decapitate the Pez um, thing she takes these things off and then uses them in her bows look they look something like in the middle like that like something like that and so she buys them and then takes those off and then we have leftover Pez, right? So mom doesn't like- <laughs> I just like... ate three packages. <laughs> I just ate one and I'm gonna Actually, have- four. I ate two um, strawberry and two grape. Is my tongue colored? Yeah, it's like <laughs> beet red. <laughs> I remember it's I did- going on eBay now. I remember doing a country western dance to it. Like at Aunt Carol's house or something. Like she had like an old record player on. And I remember it was like a hoedown music, and I remember dancing in that skirt. Anyway, where I was going with the Pez was, right, I was all like, oh, I'm gonna eat healthy, and like, when I'm craving something sweet, I have those raisins in the little thing that I keep next to my desk. Well, my mom bought yeah, four packages. by mom. <laughs> mom bought four packages, of, four packages of Pez, and she doesn't like the lemon ones, and I love the lemon ones, so now I've got four packages of lemon Pez to eat, and now I feel really guilty. I got two more packages where that came from. Yeah. Guys, but I seriously love lemon Pez because it reminds me of how my candle smells, which is kind of a big reason of why I bought my strawberry lemonade candle, guys. This one from Walmart, strawberry lemonade mainstays um, candle. It smells like lemon Pez to me, or like strawberry lemonade Pez, I guess. But now I've got a whole other thing of lemon Pez I have to eat. If you remember the vlog from over the summer, our fallish time, the lady who is, I think it was called, I named it something like, um, interpretive dance question mark. She's out there, she's, she's got there. a silver face. Yeah, she is, the lady. I think she is. She's, they're pulled over on the side of the road over there to watch her dancing. It's just a pink tail. I'm so confused. I, I... I'm so confused. What is life? <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's got a silver face and a purple tail on. She's just <laughs> dancing. Matthew. Yeah, we found her today. She's walking down the street with like a top hat and like hula hoops. And she, we, we thought she was a magician at first. And I was like, wait, that might be the lady. So we turn around the corner and then it's her. You really saw her? Yeah. I'll post the link in the description below for you guys to that vlog. We found her. Matthew found her. So apparently she's a local. <laughs> and she was walking too. It wasn't like she was in a car. And it's cold out? Close, yeah. Are you stuck there? Her tail's wagging. She's trying to communicate that she wants him off of her. She's sending us Morse code. Sending smoke no, she's sending Morse code with her tail. Oh, yep, there you go. I am done. Like, actually done cleaning. Well, not done cleaning my room, but done with the whole floor and everything, which is awesome, guys. I'm so happy. You guys can see, look at this. Oh my goodness. I have to mop still, but the floor, there's nothing on it. There's nothing, and there's really bad lighting over here. Really bad lighting over here. It makes it look like it's really dirty and it's really not at all. Um, there's Ike. This is my basket of workout stuff that I have to get, um, figure out where I want to put it. And my cord for my iPhone and my iPad, which always stays there. This stuff has to go in my closet when I get my new closet. And Ike's house kind of lives there anyway. But it looks really awkward now that my room is like clean and the floor is clean and everything like that. Because it looks like it sticks out too much. Those are all my coupons. I have to go through that. Um, but yeah, this this is madness <laughs> and then this stuff too has tons of papers in it and then on my bed I've got that is a load of dirty laundry that is a load of clean laundry I gotta get put away I didn't do laundry today because my mom was actually doing laundry and that is stuff that I gotta get put away too as well but guys I finished I'm done my floor is clean and I was gonna do laundry and I was like well I could clean up my 
I'm gonna work on maybe like surfaces tomorrow or maybe like tomorrow I'll take like a slight break maybe on Friday I'll work on like the surfaces of my room um which is like less walking around and hauling stuff around like I'm still so out of breath today from like doing all that Ike is investigating <laughs> it was just like boxes and bins and stuff like that that like didn't need to be here and now it's all cleaned out. It was like, seriously guys, it was honestly like 90% of the stuff was like papers that I didn't even need. It was just, I was way too lazy to clean it up or it was like stuff that like, I don't, I don't know, just stuff I don't need and like shirts and stuff like that. But I'm like, oh, I'm going to donate this. And it's just like mass chaos of stuff that doesn't need to be here. You know, guys know what I mean? It's just like, huh. But anyways, so I finished with that. I'm going to go and make dinner. But tomorrow I am planning on maybe doing laundry and like maybe just doing some like smaller things like paper organization or something like that. Like maybe going through this bin will be my goal tomorrow, which is a lot of paper stuff. Um, but I, for me, it's like after I do like a really hardcore cleaning one day, the next day is normally kind of like either a chill day or like a easier cleaning kind of day I don't want to do a ton of like you know stuff because I'm normally pretty tired from doing all the cleaning and stuff like that underneath my bed has to be cleaned this I need to actually organize everything that's in here this is semi clean compared to what it normally is there's just this actually I used when I went to my grandparents house I gotta get that organized and put back in here and then this stuff I'm not even sure looks like papers more papers wonderful <laughs> um but I think that all is actually stuff that needs to go up on this bookshelf I don't actually think I think I I just couldn't reach up there or something so I decided just to leave it down here um but for the most part Tomorrow is probably going to be like an easier cleaning day, I guess, just because for me, like I know my limitations and normally it's after I do a hardcore day of cleaning, it's normally an easier core day of cleaning the next day or like just kind of a chill day. And so the rest of today though, I am probably going to chill other than making dinner, but I got to get hopping on that because it's four o'clock and we are having corn chowder, I believe, for dinner tonight, which sounds delicious, guys, but I am got to go find the recipe and everything, so... Gotta go get on that. Here is everything I'm going to need for tonight's dinner. And we are also going to have some Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuit Mix, which is super unhealthy. I could not understand probably like 50% of over 50, probably 60% of what that stuff even is, which means it's not healthy for you, but they are pretty darn good. And since we're eating healthy, like I said, I want at least 60% of the stuff we eat to be like healthy stuff, which, see, I don't know if this is technically, oh yeah, it's non-GMO, but I guess it's not like organic. Um, but King Arthur flour we're using, we're using natural sea salt, which I'd like something else other than this, but we've had this for a while and we don't normally use sea salt, but I am only buying sea salt from now on. We've got some pepper, we've got some olive oil, we've got, uh, what is this, uh, green pepper, we've got some organic organic uh celery which is in the bag backwards we got some frozen corn we got potatoes onion and paprika and some parsley as well i was cooking the corn chowder and this happened we had a cup and a half of milk left so unfortunately i have to wait until my dad's done working out to go and pick up more milk because my mom was like oh i could go and pick it up but my dad's car is behind my mom so she can't even get it and so, I've literally been standing here. I decided, I was like, you know what, since my dad's going to get a fresh gallon of milk, I'm going to double the recipe. So, this is only with a cup and a half of milk. What it's going to look like, this I have to add like three cups. Um, or, no, I have to add five cups in total to this and then another cup later. And then I already have the Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuits already like pre-made I guess I just have to throw them in the oven but I don't want to do that until I know that like this is only going to take a few more minutes so I also ended up doing a load of dishes and my dad's still not in so I've been standing around here twiddling my thumbs for the past like five minutes did you really twiddle your thumbs? I really did twiddle my thumbs for the past five minutes and I or I mean because I'm done doing the dishes now I guess I can pre-chop the parsley I guess we have milk guys I also got the um, parsley pre 
shredded and I got the counters cleaned as well. It's finally done after our milk incident and everything. Well, not incident, I guess, but running out of milk, it is done, guys. So this was from the Beach Body recipe. Um, I'll post the link to it below. These were just um, like red lobster what's it called red lobster biscuits the cheddar bay biscuits they um were from a box honestly guys i showed you um which weren't the healthiest but like i said i'm horrible at doing bread from scratch like making bread from scratch and so i wanted to find some type of instant bread i was hoping to find something like organic or something like that but since my mom made these the other day and i fell in love with them i've never even been to red lobster honestly i don't think i might have my mom made these and i fell in love with them i was like oh my gosh i have to have them so when i saw that they were on sale at target that even like pushed me further i was like you know what we're eating healthy this whole week so we can afford to have you know biscuits on the side for the two soups we're making for this week which i think that this biscuit will complement the dinner perfectly tonight um i'm not so sure how it will do with the squash or the butternut squash soup but for sure this one is like the bomb so i'm gonna dig into this and let you guys know how good it is can we just talk about how epic maple leaf cream cookies are Seriously guys, I am I only had two and they were for my dessert, okay? When I went to uh, Canada, they had some like cookies like those and they actually taste a lot like the ones we got in Canada. And they sell them at Aldi and they only sell them once a year at like Christmas time. So I picked up a box, of course it's not gonna last me a whole year. I think they only carry them once a year like around Christmas time, that's the only time I've seen them there. They're so good, they remind me of the ones that we had in Canada, but I don't know, they taste a little bit different, like more maple-y maybe or something like that, like less creamy, or I don't know, I'm, I don't really know. They taste a little bit different, like they're not 100% like the ones in Canada, but those ones always remind me of Canada. Are you hiding? Are you hiding? No, oh, she's darling with the fish bones. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh my goodness, Buzzy, you're so cute! Look at you, you're so cute! Oh, it's right there! Oh my goodness! Look at your phone! Ike is over here, and you's oh. over there. Are you, are you trying to hide? She's <laughs> trying to peer around the corner, she's like, I'm looking at you. I'm watching you. What a cute, <laughs> she keeps doing it like a... <laughs> You're comfy there, Bliss? Fox one on uh, at home. Um, Artemi Panarin had another two goals tonight, the first two, and then um, Tara Vinen scored um, an empty netter, like all alone. <laughs> um, I was like, it probably so sad because it like seemed very an anti-climatic like he just kind of skated there and the, he would just put the puck in the net like there's nobody else around him i was like oh this is sad <laughs> like the way he, he just seemed like really depressed about scoring the goal <laughs> but um panarin had two of the goals he had two yesterday too so he's got four in the past two back-to-back -back games which is amazing and he is leads the rookie uh leads rookies in the nhl for most points scored and kane leads most points scored in the nhl which is awesome they have two of those awesome players on our team so um yeah just finishing up watching that the final score was three to one my dad just informed me that the hawks have now won five games in a row and the bulls have also won five games in a row so um let's say the chicago teams are looking up other than football right now other than football but um basketball and hockey are looking up for chicago right now oh my goodness look at you <laughs> you're so cute how did you get so cute bliss See, i was born that way oh my gosh she's got one eye closed she's winking she's like you know it you're so cute oh my gosh look at what you're laying
You need some help there, buddy? Hey, Ike. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> Ike, you're like the wicked witch to the east. You ended up with a house on you. Well, I am going to go to bed. And apparently Bliss is going to go to bed too, aren't you? Did I scare you because I moved that? I'm so sorry. Some of the little upset when she wakes up aren't you bliss the dinner tonight was actually it was honestly really good and it was like really filling like i thought one bowl was not going to fill me up and it actually filled me up so i was really surprised about that and those lobster the red lobster what was it? what were they the cheddar cheddar bay biscuits oh my gosh guys so good but um i i'm really happy about today i was able to get so much stuff done it's actually only 11:30 a little bit later than I wanted to be going to bed um, but I was actually looking some stuff up online that I needed to look up and actually added to my Amazon I have a whole list going on Amazon of like things that I am like I need to get this I need to get this I need to get this not like things that like well stuff that I want I guess like I don't have to have it but it's like stuff that I want for like vlogging and stuff um, and so I've been researching a lot of stuff guys after I get my MacBook Hopefully I can afford some of this other stuff, but I'm going to be a little bit of a ways away. Well, actually, no, not really a month away until I can get the, um, my MacBook. And yes, guys, I am actually putting something on my floor, even though I didn't want to. I do have laundry. I didn't get done, so I got to put that on the floor. I'm so sorry. Is that bothering you? It's right next to you. Anyways, guys, yeah, today was a really good productive day, like I said. Even though I wasn't able to get the laundry done today, guys... The room cleaned was awesome, being able to get that cleaned up. I've got two bags of stuff I still have to go through, and this box of stuff, which I think I'll do tomorrow, because like I said, after a really productive day of cleaning, normally I kind of take like a half smidgen of a step backwards, kind of, I guess, in the productive productivity um -ness, I guess. Not that like it'll go back to being the way it was, but like, I just need probably a break, break tomorrow, but I'm still planning on getting up early so I can at least get stuff done that I need to. It's also really weird to only have to edit one vlog. Today, I was like, hmm, I should be doing more of these. Like, even yesterday, I still had to edit two or three, I think. It's just really weird only having to do those. So, I'm going to go to bed. If you guys did enjoy today's vlog, though, give it a thumbs up. If you guys are new, we'd love if you'd subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye! Now we're gonna know if it's kid approved. No, 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 not one noodle. Take a good little chunk. There you go. Is it hot? No, not that hot. I just taste cheese. So you can't taste anything else, all the healthy stuff that's in there? Yeah, Really? Yeah, I just taste cheese. Oh, guys, we went back for the second bite. <laughs> so, I agree, too. I mean, it tastes like cheese. It's actually got a, an entire butternut squash in there. And it also has two bell peppers, onions. It's only two cups of cheese. It actually calls for Swiss or a different type of cheese. But I could not find shredded Swiss cheese anywhere. I tried Aldi and Target. I couldn't find it. So, I just went with mozzarella cheese and uh, cheddar cheese as well. Sharp cheddar cheese. It's got some uh, parsley.